Hey feeling what's good, this is your girl, I am the Bronze Goddess and some of you haven't, haven't seen me in like a week but if you follow me on Facebook and Twitter, if you've seen me all week, I've been tweeting I uh, just got into Twitter, shout out to those of you who've been you know, following me there and those of you who've been, who shouted me out on Follow Friday uh, shout out to you guys, I really appreciate it, thank you African Export and um, all of you guys but I know she shouted me out and I thought that was super sweet but anyway, uh, I love you guys and I'm doing this tag because I haven't done a video in a while and I especially haven't done a tag in a while and this one is right up my alley because I love clothes so let's go get them this is the, actually the fashion tag if you guys are familiar with that oh, what happened to my tag? okay and here go the questions um how would you describe your style um, the best way to describe my style is eclectic and I know that I think the answer is supposed to be something like boho chic or classic chic or sporty or um, whatever but for me it's eclectic one of the good things about being a girl is that with hair and makeup and clothes you can transform yourself like every day like who needs to wait uh, to some certain event to have a makeover you can go pin up tomorrow if you want to and then you can go fix in the next day vampy or you can go um, chic the other day or um, nerdy or whatever you can do whatever you want Sa sexy sassy secretary chic you can do whatever you want which I, I really really like that about uh, being a girl and how you can just change your hair and your makeup and your clothes and have a different feel every day So I don't really want to put myself in a box and be like I'm only so-and-so like no, I'm, I'm everything I'm every woman It's all in me That's right. Yeah, I can read your thoughts right now Everyone from me to say I Anyway, let me stop. Um, what are your wardrobe staples? Um, wardrobe staples are boots Especially right now because it's kind of cool. Um, not that cold though. Unseasonably warm here in Georgia. But um, I like boots. Ankle boots. Knee high boots. I haven't gotten a pair of thigh high boots. I'm only 4'11". So like. Okay, what's the likelihood of me finding the perfect thigh high boot for my tiny frame? Okay. But um, I love tights. I love textured tights. Colored tights. Styled tights. Tights that have the message on the back. I have to get me some of those. I love those. Um, but Yeah. Blazers, of course. Blazers, trench coats, petticoats. That's what's my staples right now um, for like this particular kind of weather. When the weather gets warmer, then of course like sandals and sundresses. I don't wear shorts. Uh, I'm going to try to start wearing shorts this um, this season for spring and summer but my husband and I have been together for eight years and I've never worn shorts in public like I don't wear shorts I can't even tell you the last time I wore shorts in public it's crazy but random but true all right um the most expensive item in my closet it's actually not clothes I don't spend a whole whole lot of money on clothes I like name brand stuff but I refuse to pay full price so what I normally have that is money cost money is normally like my shoes um, and these shoes um I got them on sale but they cost a lot of money I just happened to catch them on a ridiculous sale people keep asking me the name of the shoe um and this is the name of the shoe I don't even want to try to pronounce it but it's just a simple brown leather shoe it has a wedge zips up on the sides and um it kind of ties up like a corset these shoes are so sexy and I get compliments every single time I wear them I love them you just tie them up in a little bow with these leather straps nice those and also my Uggs um, my husband got me Uggs last year and I recently got the Sam Edelman Larissa shoe um, which of course I get everything on sale that's me I'll get name brand stuff but I refuse to pay full price that's just like why would I why should I uh, <laughs> I love to shop but I love to shop on a bargain alright um, what else most wanted item is a gold or rose gold Michael Kors watch and my husband was telling me I should get it for Christmas but I didn't because I don't really wear watches but I every time I see the watch on a chick I'm like oh I love that watch but I feel like if I buy it I won't really wear it and so why am I gonna pay the money for it if I'm not really gonna wear it so I'm like I'm gonna see how I feel if you ever see that watch on me that I broke down but I don't really wear watches so even though it's fly like why would I get it but I want it but I don't really need it you know what I mean I don't know uh, my favorite designer is gotta be 
I guess I like Betsy Johnson. I don't actually own any of her pieces. <laughs> the only thing I can do is find looks inspired by her, but I like her eclectic, kind of wild, anything goes kind of style. Uh, I also like Michael Kors because his style is really kind of classic, and even though he's a man, he really knows how to design clothes for uh, for the woman, for sexy, but yet classy. I really, I love his stuff. Very, very clean lines, nothing too, nothing too, too avant-garde, but classic and sexy and chic. I love his style. Um, how much do you spend on clothes? Um, it just depends. Um, I don't really know like a dollar amount. I just, especially now that I've been thrifting, I haven't been spending that much at all. My wardrobe is like getting crazy and crazy, crazy and crazier, but um, I haven't been spending a whole lot of money because I love sales and I look at shopping as a sport. And so I haven't been spending a whole lot of money, but I've been finding a lot of great things for great prices. So it really varies. Um, Okay, what are your favorite places to shop? Perfect transition question. Uh, I've been into thrift stores. I'm actually looking for a vintage store. I really want to get into vintage pieces. People throw the V word around a lot here on YouTube. Everything isn't vintage. Um, but I really want to get into vintage things. Things that are circa uh, the 40s or the 50s, something like that. Vintage things, not just like pre-loved things. Uh, thrift store things, but I want to find like some old old this an old old hat or an old old brooch or some earrings uh, That are like 30 40 50 60 years old, you know, that's really what I want to try to find I need to find a vintage shop here in the a my favorite fragrance is the one that I got for Christmas, which is Gucci flora I'm kind of into this. Um, my husband got it for me. I'm really liking floral scents more than fruity scents these days, and I love this fragrance. Um, what's your favorite thing to do with your hair? Normally, I like my hair off to the side. I'm like, my signature style is that kind of uh, one-sided look, uh, but my husband loves my hair down, and so I challenge myself to wear my hair down for the whole month of January uh, just for him because I don't wear my hair down at all really I am always styling it but I know he likes my hair like this so I'm trying to do it like this just for him so I like did a braid out with it and you know trying to make it look fly uh, what is your go-to outfit when you have no idea what to wear when I have no idea what to wear I run for the same things skinny jeans a graphic tee and a blazer that can get you almost anywhere that can get you date movie pushing a stroller back anywhere. All you gotta do is put some heels and a clutch on and, and transition into night. You can put some Converse on or some Uggs or whatever, some ankle boots, whatever. It's so easy to go anywhere with that outfit on and look dressed up or dressed down. You, know, you take the blazer off, rock the tee, you're good. Put the blazer on, it's just, it's so transitional. I love that. That's like one of my favorite looks to rock. Uh, one fashion trend you wish would come back, I would say that it would be some kind of the, the 50s, 60s dresses where the dresses were really kind of fitted and really accentuated your waist, but they flared out at the bottom. We're like a body con, body hugging generation where we want everything. I kind of like the idea of leaving a little bit more to the imagination. It's a nice slim waist cinch in the, with a belt and then have it be kind of sexy but flirty uh, on the bottom. I think for curvy girls like me that really, I really like that. I really like that silhouette. I think it's very feminine. It doesn't have, you don't have to show every little thing. You have to show everything to be sexy. You really don't. You ain't got to put all your, gir your girls out, all your merchandise in the window. My mom always says what you may be willing to show, you may be willing to share. So you don't have to show it all. Um, and the last one, show us your most prized possession. I really don't have a most prized possession besides like my fur that I'm absolutely loving. You guys have seen that fur like a million times. But I picked it up at the thrift store for $25 and I love it. It hasn't even been anywhere near cold enough to wear it. Um, but I really, really like it because I love the fact that um, it was one of the first times I went to the thrift store and I scored this major, hot, sexy black fur coat for like 25 bucks. And I looked it up online, I think they go for like 280. The one I got goes for like $280 or more. So to get it for $25, uh, but yeah, that's it. Hope I actually made it under 10 minutes. I love you guys, and if you want to do this tag, tag your it. You go right ahead and do so. Um, yeah, just it's it's fun. Okay, just go ahead and do it and post it as a video response. I was inspired by the lovely Bisa. Bisa be her name. Bisa be her name.
you you're gonna know my you can tell i watch your videos i love you visa